Hello, I'm Scott and I'm a chicken farmer from Waterloo Region here in Ontario. I'm a second generation farmer. I was born and raised on the farm. It's a lifestyle, but it's also a business and I do love that mix of the two of them. Just when you think you've got things figured out, uh, life throws you another challenge and so it's just always continually adapting. To me, sustainability is really about, uh, you know, as farmers, uh, we're tasked with looking after the land so that when we do pass it on to the next generation, whether that's family or somebody else, so, uh, it's in the best possible condition it can be. Birds are more uh, impacted by heat than some of other livestock. Ten years ago, we uh, put in evaporative cooling on our farm, and so what that does is it uh, uses water and pulls it down the length of the barn and so we're able to drop our interior barn temperature by about 10 degrees which is huge in the summer months. Our feed conversions and our feed efficiency has got better over time. Um, I would say part of that is also to do with we're constantly improving our, our barns and our environments you know it's uh, updating our ventilation our heating systems. So the black uh, steel against the wall here this is what we call the solar wall. This would be the first addition we would have added to our barn ventilation system. So the black steel, what's happening here is when the sunlight is hitting this black wall, that's uh, helping warming up the incoming air into the barn. That warming air is minimizing how much supplemental heat that we have to add for a comfortable environment for the birds. Over here, we have the uh, heat exchangers. We just added these to the barn. So what it's doing is it's once again uh, using it for minimum ventilation. It's the warm air that's exhausted out of the barn. We're using that exhausted warm air to heat the um, incoming air into the barn. So once again, it's gonna minimize how much additional propane supplemental heat we'll need to uh, warm that barn environment so that the birds are comfortable. We installed LED lighting on our farms probably about, uh, I'm gonna say 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, it's reduced our energy costs on the lighting side by about 80 or 85 percent, which is huge. We treat the water directly coming from the well. So when the birds drink that water, uh, what's happening with the chlorine dioxide, it's lowering the pH. That pH uh, is uh, improving the gut health of the bird. My dad's been a, a huge proponent of planting trees. So we have a really strong southwest wind that comes up against the barn here. Uh, this windbreak will help minimize the amount of wind effect. When there's less wind, there's less cooling on the barn, and less cooling means less reliance on propane heat. Manure is an extremely valuable resource for us here on the farm. At an appropriate time of the year, it'll get applied to our fields, and so that minimizes how much supplemental or uh, commercial fertilizer we need to buy. We did a few years ago put covered manure storages on our manure yards. Uh, if we minimize the rainwater, we don't have to worry about erosion or leaching back into our fields. It also allows us, you know, half uh, of a year of manure storage, so that allows us to apply manure at the appropriate time of the year when both the weather conditions allow to do that, but also um, just to make sure it's done in a sustainable, uh, responsible manner. It's been a real team effort, and, uh, you know, the learning never stops and the improvement never stops.